what what uh what it said on the on the thing and everybody it's easier to look at what somebody does than read I have to read because I don't like to read um anyway hopefully you got this far hopefully you got everything done completed and, and you're up to this point and uh it's just a matter of going and downloading whatever you want uh now as far as themes is concerned only do one theme at a time please don't don't put a app, uh, a theme, and then go do a theme on top of it. Uh, what's going to do is it's going to you're going to have half-ass themes on top of another theme. Uh, what you want to do is right now you're at the default theme, so you want to go and click on a the theme, download it, install it. It's going to be good. Uh, when if you want to change that theme, what you have to do is you have to come back to Preware go to install packages and this is the new interface they did right here they categorized it which is awesome and as you can see themes is one and that's what you want to be at themes is going to be one you don't want no more than one theme at a time but say you get tired of that theme well you're going to go to go to themes now I got two I got my two theme that I made and you can download my themes uh, from Preware uh, also if you want to check out my uh, my site uh, it's, uh, it's the links up there uh, but anyway you go to the tool or whatever theme you have on there and you're just gonna click remove and that's gonna remove it and it's gonna it's gonna reset your uh, GUI which is the graphics user, uh, user interface and it's gonna it's gonna re it looks like it's gonna reset but it's not resetting your pre it's just resetting the graphics once that resets and you go, go back to Pre, the preware, go to themes and install the theme that you want. And you have to do that every time you want to change your theme. Do not duplicate, you know, do not go with theme on top of thing. And uh, also, what you want to do is another little side note before you update, you got to remove all your patches, tweaks, and everything like that. Not your applications. Any applications you download from here, you do not have to remove them. You just got to remove the patches, themes, and tweaks. And uh, which is, I think, tweaks and patches are pretty much the same thing. So you just got to worry about removing your, your patches. Now, they made it even simpler for y'all, uh, for us, uh, actually. Uh, go to, in, uh, let's see, go to patches, and then you're going to have a um, thing called recovery. You go to recovery, and you got to do this before an update before you gotta remember that before the next update which is gonna be in about a month or two months depending on palm uh, before you that before you update your phone you have to do this you go to you click on this emergency patch recovery and what this does is a self uh, self installed self ran self um, removal tool what it's gonna do is you run this it's gonna take away all your patches all your patches all your tweaks uh, I don't know if it's going to remove the, the themes. I'm not sure. I didn't try it. But anyway, I don't think it does the themes. It just removes the patches. Uh, and once you run that, it's, it's just one click and that's it. It's going to install on your phone. It's going to remove all your patches and then it's going to remove itself. So you're not, you're not going to have to worry about looking for this, this, uh, this patch anywhere to remove it. It's going to remove itself. So that's a cool thing. That's a cool feature. So once you do that, then you could. After you do that, then you could uh, update. But you got to remember, you got to move. You got to remove your theme too. Got to remove that thing. And uh, then you can update, and then all is good, and, and you can go back and, and re uh, reinstall everything like that for another couple of months until they de decide to do another update. Uh, anyway, uh, sh uh, let me show you the virtual keyboard right quick, and then uh, I'm about to cut this short. Uh, this is pretty funny because somebody says that uh, you know, it's funny because they don't have a, um, they don't for the iPhone they don't have a quarter keyboard uh, app, which is pretty funny. And uh, now, now since you got the pre, you got both. But anyway, uh, what you want to do is you want to go somewhere that that takes um, a text and you want to double click or double tap, I should say, and you got to give it a, a couple of seconds for it to upload. But you double tap in the just area. I go like right, right on the side, and uh, it'll pop up. It, see how long it takes. I mean, it it, it got to render, so it takes a little while. Uh, but anyway, this is your full function onboard keyboard. 
Uh, it's work, it works great. I don't like it. I, I like the quarter keyboard myself. But I do like to show it off to iPhone users and stuff like that. It's like, ah, oh, look what we could do. And you know what? What iPhone can't do is this. You click this little gear down here, and you can change the way that it looks. Like, let's go to Remix Glossy. And it looks just like the uh, the real keyboard on your uh, pre. And, uh, of course, you double, cl double tap right there to adjust the area to take it off. And then, uh, if you want to get it back on, double tap again I tap on the right side I guess you could I mean the left side you I guess you could tap on the uh, right side but see how I like see how it does that double tap and you gotta wait boom, and it comes up oh didn't come up that time maybe you gotta do it a little faster oh there it goes okay but anyway it's cool I like it it's cool uh, other other things than that, you know, you just gotta play around with it, see what's what's happening. Uh, they they explain everything in in great detail of what what it exactly a patch the, the patch does and everything like that. And have fun, you know. If you have any questions, uh, leave them uh, leave them on here. Comment, rate, whatever. Uh, do what you feel. I'm not gonna beg for any rates or comments or nothing like that. If you feel you should, do it. I hope this was uh, very informative, and I hope you got to this point to where you can download and install patches and themes and apps and all that great stuff so uh see y'all around thank you for watching